Oh, I got an exciting one for you today, guys. Today, we're gonna talk about how to direct an action scene. Watch out. How's it going today, everybody? My name is William Tran, and today is the start of a new year. And not only that, it's the start of a new decade. I can't wait to show you guys what we have in store, and what better way to start the decade by teaching you guys how to create an awesome action scene. Action, my favorite genre of film. It's heart pumping, it's bone crunching. You get to see somebody beat the crap out of somebody that you don't like. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you a whole bunch of tips as to how to make yourself look badass. In this video, I'm not gonna focus on gunplay. I'm actually gonna be talking about martial arts action, hand-to-hand -hand combat, like take a guy, punch his nose in over and over again. But check this out. In the second part of this video, because what's better than one part? Two parts. In the second part of this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to handle gunplay. But right now, let's get into the first tip, stacking and breaking the line. So let's start with stacking. Stacking just basically means put your characters in the same plane. So that way, whenever one actor throws a punch and the hand crosses over the face, no matter how far away they are, it's still gonna look like it made contact. Breaking the line is something that I learned from Rocket Jump Film School. It is the very basic concept as to how to make a hit look real. Breaking the line just simply means you need to imagine a line going from a point of contact on the actor to the camera. And whenever the one actor has to throw a punch, they have to break that line. So I just have to imagine a line coming from my nose to the camera lens, and I have to break that line. Second thing, commit to your action. There is nothing worse than an action scene that somebody makes. And this is something that a lot of people, that a lot of amateur filmmakers do. There's nothing worse than seeing somebody, like, half-assing the movements. <laughs> and it's even worse when there's overexpressed action music and overexpressed sound effects and underexpressed actions. It's going to feel really stupid on set, trust me, because, like, you know, everybody sees, like, two guys having a fake fight and it's, like, anime battle or whatever it is. It's going to seem ridiculous. However, if you don't commit to your action, when you're doing the actual choreography or whatever it is you're doing, it's not going to look good in post-production. So if I want to punch somebody, I can't go like, eh. I gotta throw that punch, <laughs> like that. I gotta hurt this guy, you know? And if you don't commit to your action, you're gonna look something like this. Ugh. Is the next tip I want to teach you guys. <laughs> oh yeah, camera work. The next tip I'm going to teach you guys is camera work in post-production. If there's one tip I'm going to tell anybody when they're making an action film, by God, please do not shake the camera. That's called going into something called shaky cam and you do not want to do that. Shaking a camera like you sniffed a line of cocaine does not mean heart pumping and crazy and chaotic. It means I can't see shit. Keep the camera smooth and let your action breathe. Let the audience see the hits making contact. Yeah, anybody see that movie Jason Bourne? I despise that movie because of one specific fight scene. As Corridor puts it, the camera's clearly on a dude's shoulder, maybe in a telephoto lens, and then they're just... Shaking Ham has its place, but it needs to be done well. <laughs> That's gonna be my next dance move, I'm gonna break out of prom. I call it the American Director. And in the post-production area, do not cut excessively. Do not cut on every single punch that your actors throw. If you cut on every single hit, you're not going to get the full power and pain of a punch or a kick that your actor throws. Another random, okay, another bonus tip. Don't actually hit your actors. Like, no, don't, don't do that. I don't know why. A lot of people come up to me and then like when they when they watch an action film of mine and they say like, are you actually hitting them? <laughs> or like, are you actually hitting each other? No, we are not actually hitting each other. <laughs> if you hit each other, we end up with like broken jaws and missing teeth. Like, no, don't hit your actors. <laughs> <laughs> that is my leg good, sir. <laughs> All right, the second to last tip I'm gonna give you guys is good sound effects. 
Use good sound effects, people. Please don't get that cheesy sound effect that sounds like this. No. Use a sound effect that's more condensed and doesn't sound like you're being punched in an episode of Tom and Jerry. Something like this. If you check the description down below, I do have a sound effects pack that is free that I've used for a very long time and they were really good. Recently, I went to Tony Jax's action pack, which you can get a pack of six different folders with over like 3,000 sound effects that you guys can use for about 90 bucks. They're, it's so worth it. So my final tip for all you guys, it's common sense. Be safe and have fun. You don't want a lawsuit for decking your friend in the nose and him, you having to pay for his medical bill to get his, you know, face reconstructed. Be safe, have fun, don't actually hit your actors, and if you do, say sorry and pray to God they don't sue you. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys have an awesome 2020, and I hope you guys have an awesome decade. We're gonna be releasing a ton more films, and this is the year that I graduate high school, so this is going to be absolutely insane. So anyway, everyone, remember your film was only just as good as the fun that you had creating it. My name is William Tran, and thanks for watching.